This is part 50 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the Bootstrap Affix plugin. The Bootstrap Affix plugin is used to pin elements such as a navbar when they are scrolled beyond a certain point. First, let's look at the Affix plugin attributes. Data spy equals Affix. Apply this attribute on the element that you want to affix. Data offset top. This attribute specifies when to toggle the pinning of an element. Let's understand the use of this plugin with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in our previous video. What we want to do here is include a Jumbotron at the top of this page. So let's flip to Visual Studio. And then inside this row, I'm going to create a column which is going to be 12 units wide. So let's create a div element with class call xs12. And inside this column, let's create a Jumbotron. To create a Jumbotron, we create a div element with class Jumbotron. Inside this Jumbotron, let's include an H1 element. And the text inside this is going to be bootstrap affix example. And I'm going to remove this style definition from here. We included this style to basically fix the position of the navigation menu on the left hand side. So I'm going to remove that style. Let's see what changes. Reload this page. Notice we get the Jumbotron at the top of the page. Now notice what happens. As we scroll down, the navigation menu also scrolls up along with the rest of the page. What we actually want to do is this. As we scroll down, when the Jumbotron is no longer visible, maybe at this point, we want the position of this navigation menu to be fixed right here. And then as we scroll down further, we want only the images to scroll up. We don't want the navigation menu to be scrolling up. And that's exactly what the Affix plugin does. It's going to pin elements when they are scrolled beyond a certain point. And the element that we want to pin is this navigation menu. And when do we want to pin it? We want to pin it when the Jumbotron is no longer visible, which is roughly around 200 pixels. And we know that with the Affix plugin, these are the two attributes that we use. And the element that we want to affix is the unordered list which contains our navigation links. So on this element, I'm going to use data-spy. The value for this attribute is going to be affix. And when do we want to pin this element? We want to pin it when the Jumbotron is no longer visible, which is roughly around 200 pixels. So data-offset top equals 200 pixels. Let's save our changes. Reload this page. Notice at this point, as we scroll down, and when the Jumbotron is no longer visible, look at what happens at that point. At that point, the navigation menu is pushed down. And as we keep scrolling down further, look at what happens. Its position is fixed there. And that's not what we want. We want this navigation menu position to be fixed 20 pixels from the top. We don't want that to be pushed down. For that to happen, what I'm going to do is include a class here called affix. And I'm going to set the top property. We want the navigation menu to be fixed 20 pixels from the top. So I'm going to set top to 20 pixels. In a bit, you will understand why we are doing it in the affix class. Let's save our changes. Reload our web page. And look at this now. As we scroll down, look at that. When the Jumbotron is no longer visible, look at that. You know, the position is fixed 20 pixels from the top. All right, now let's understand what's actually happening behind the scenes with this Affix plugin. Now, to start with, you know, when we first load the page, at this point, you know, for this unordered list element, the Affix plugin is going to apply a class called Affix Top. And then as we scroll down, and when we cross that offset limit, which is imposed by data offset top attribute, which is 200 pixels in this case, what's going to happen is the Affix plugin replaces Affix top class with Affix class. And what is this Affix class going to do? This class is present within our bootstrap.css. And if you look at the Affix class, all it's doing is it's setting the position to fixed. 
but it is not telling at what position the navigation menu in our case should be fixed and that's the reason why we told we want it to be fixed 20 pixels from the top so notice we are using the same class here so bootstrap is setting its position to fixed and we are telling it to fix its position 20 pixels from the top okay that's the reason why we have set top property to 20 pixels within the affix class we can actually look at that in action let's launch browser developer tools by pressing F12 I'm using Google Chrome browser so we have the developer tools right here I'm going to right click on the navigation menu and select inspect and notice here we have our unordered list element and look at the class it has applied it has applied affix top class and look at what happens as we scroll down as we scroll down and when we scroll beyond the offset limit imposed by data offset top attribute look at what's going to happen at this point look at that the plugin replaced affix top class with affix class and that's when the position of the navigation menu is fixed and it is fixed 20 pixels from the top thank you for listening and have a great day